In this training video, we're going to look at the use of resource calendars and the effect of resource calendars on resources in Microsoft Project. So in this example, if we look at task one, we have a task which is due to start on the 30th of July. And we have an engineer manager and a HR manager assigned to this task. So what we're going to do in this example, we're going to put the engineer manager on a training course that's going to be from Tuesday, the 31st of July to Wednesday, the 1st of August. Now, those two days happen to be in the middle of task one. Now, we're going to see how Microsoft Project gets affected by resource calendars and what it does to a resource calendar and what the resource calendar does to Microsoft Project. So to affect the resource calendar, I'm going to go to the Project tab and Change Working Time. Now, under the Change Working Time option, every resource you enter into Microsoft Project comes with automatically having its own calendar so you can control them individually against leave training courses absenteeism etc so in this case the engineer manager under the exceptions which means non-working we're going to say is on a training course and we'll say health and safety training Going to put the start date as Tuesday the 31st of July and the finish date is going to be Wednesday the 1st of August. So in effect what's happening here is the engineer manager is unable to work any of those two days due to the fact that that particular person is on a training course, in this case, case of health and safety. Now we're gonna look at project here to see what it's gonna do. So project is now looking at design job spec and specification for four days. And that's where the engineer manager and the HR manager, both 100% active on the actual task itself. Well, if we're gonna take the engineer manager out of this task for two days, that means it has to have a knock-on effect for the duration of the task and the duration of the project because the engineer manager is unavailable and the task requires his or her input. So duration has to be affected in this case because they are needed for this task. So by being away from work for two days, this is going to have a delay to this task. It's going to knock on duration. So let's see what happens. It's at present duration is 62 days and four days for the design job specification. So now we've put the reason in for training as non-working. And let's see what project's done. If I click back on health and safety, I can now see the 31st of July is non-working. If I come down to the 1st of August, non-working so project is taken away working hours of the engineer manager for both of these dates i'm now going to click ok and straight away the duration of the design job specification has increased to six days and the entire project has gone up two days so they've both increased by two days design job specification was four days now six, the entire project was 62 days, now 64 days. So whenever you are affecting the resource calendar, you are gonna affect duration within the project if you're gonna put them on training courses. So this completes the training example of how resource calendars can affect a project. So when you are Thinking of affecting a resource calendar, you know there is going to be an impact on 
the project and also all the dates have gone blue except one or two and this shows the change and the effect of the resource calendar if you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe to our channel hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching